When you remember the, the number, for example, 15,000 liters per kilogram of, of beef, the truth is that two-thirds, roughly, of that water used is not used by the plant, and hence for the uh, food production. But two-thirds are lost to seepage, water seeping away into deeper layers of uh, the soil, and to evaporation uh, over the surface uh, back into the air. So reducing that waste is the key aspect and the key value proposition of geohumus. Think of a superabsorbent like a three-dimensional fish net, fishing net that catches H2O molecules. In geohumus, we combine this, and this is, uh, it's not a microscope photo, but it's uh, an illustration that actually we combined very fine-grained lava rock with that polymer structure. So the key aspects, geohumus absorbs and releases water different from the classic superabsorbent that is so hungry for water, holds on to the water, that it actually competes with the plant. Geohumus absorbs, swells, releases and shrinks. And it can repeat that process hundreds and thousands of times. It provides the plants with micronutrients, what we said from lava rock, uh, some of the essential micronutrients uh, the plants need, uh, are also contained in geohumus. It reduces the use of fertilizers. That is a topic uh, too wide to cover in this uh, short note. Uh, but actually, through the reduction of seepage, of course, you lose a lot of fertilizer to seepage as well. And the seeping water takes the fertilizer with it. Geohumus improves soil aeration, which is through the uh, expansion and shrinking uh, movement in the soil, which is also a, a positive aspect. And last not least, it moderates the soil temperature profile. Again, a technical aspect. Those are, I believe, the five bullet points you had to go through with me. This is our production plant. We won the German Founders Award in 2006. Some of you may have uh, noticed that in the press. And uh, part of the prize that we won there was eight weeks of McKinsey. So McKinsey and... Uh, no, we actually we were very happy about that prize. Um, and so the McKinsey um, consultants arrived and produced for eight weeks a number of charts, a number of business plans, and uh, projections for us that actually left us breathless. If the tiniest portion of that, those projections would have become true, we, the current shareholders of GeoHumus, I'm the CFO and a small co-shareholder, we would all be millionaires. We would be driving uh, Tesla cars and probably flying private jets, although that is not very green. We don't. The reason why, and this is actually, um, you know, when we come to this man, you probably, those of you laughing, recognize the man. He's called Morpheus, and uh, the movie is called Matrix. It covers two parallel realities, right? And, and at a crucial, a pivotal point in that movie, Morpheus says, do you want the blue pill or the red pill? If you want the blue pill, I can talk another five minutes, I can talk 50 minutes, if I could, you won't allow me, about McKinsey projections and that we have the best business case and the recipe to print money. If you want the red pill and if you want the unfiltered truth, I'm going to, if I may, uh, share some of the challenges and some of the difficult bits that we face. So, I just take it you want the red pill. <laughs> Interim, before we start with actually the, the, the case, um, last year, Susanne Clutton, through her private investment vehicle, Skion GmbH, uh, invested in GeoHumus, took a, a nearly 29% share in our company, which is obviously fantastic news. Um, it means we uh, have a well-filled war chest, we have uh, enough capital so we can um, 
continue our development and, and the growth of our business case. But you will notice in a moment that the battle is not over yet. And even with that investor on board, and even with all the assurances that should we need more capital, we have a very strong partner on board. Still, the battle is not over. So the world is a large place, right? That is a, a pretty obvious statement. The second one is there are many different segments. And look at this. This is, uh, this is our app store. Lots of icons, right? The, the second uh, Steve Jobs reference. Applications ranging from desertification, combating desertification to uh, wineries in California or Australia to um, a landscaping project, the Royal Class a Golf Course in Las Vegas, you name it. Any application that requires water is um, you know, one where GeoHumus can make a difference. So a bit like in the App Store, we cannot possibly cover all those applications. Impossible, right? It's a bit like, imagine the, the head developer of Apple knocking on Steve Jobs' door saying, Steve, we're going to launch a perfect phone, a smartphone, and we're going to equip it with 200,000 programs for people to choose from. And everybody would have said, well, or Steve in that case would have said, well, who's going to pay for that? It's impossible. So what they did, and uh, in that comparison, they created the platform. GeoHumus, these granulates are the base product. But if you run a vineyard, and if your specific problem is a lack of phosphorus in your soil, we can address that specific need for you in your application. But we need to dive into that segment, find out what the problem is, and then we can fix it. We cannot do that in the world, being such a large place, and we cannot do that possibly in anywhere near the number of segments that there are. So we can choose one or two and start, and then do another one. Or if we want to accelerate, we need to do what our current strategy is, and that is form subunits to GeoHumus. You could say it's the head of the family, and now we need subsidiaries that focus, for example, in the US, on the US market and the five key segments in the US. We're seeking partnerships there, strategic partnerships, people who know their specific country, and ideally, at least a segment we're working in. Water and agriculture is not priced in most places. It's impossible to impose a price for water. 15 cents for a kilogram of wheat. If everything else was for free, if the farmer worked for glory, if the tractor came from somewhere, no price, if there was no fertilizer cost, no pesticides, only 1,500 liters of water, 15 cents. No, actually, the price for water is zero. It is probably the pumping cost, but there is no price for water. So uh, we can talk. We have lots of anecdotes we love to share with you uh, if you're interested about dry places on this planet that actually my colleague and founder of GeoHumus, uh, Dr. Wolf Bentlage, who's here uh, with me, uh, we can talk about, we visited Nevada, the driest state in the US, and we thought we had found the place. Water is more valuable than gold, they told us. And then the story continues, but we'll have to do that after the, the talk. So there is no price for water, hence it is very difficult to sell a product that is saving that resource that you're not paying for. Back to this, oh right, I just covered that in the talk. So if you imagine, and it gets even more obscure with uh, the cost of beef and so on. So back to the large world and to the countries in which we have filed patents. And those of you who have had to do with patents, patent strategies even, uh, that is a sophisticated version of uh, spending a whole lot of money on uh, pieces of paper that you get and that give you the right to stop other people from doing something. That is wonderful. First of all, if you have to stop them. Secondly, if you have a market. Thirdly, if you are selling like hell. If you're not selling like hell yet, 
and you're starting an 82-country patent strategy and build up a patent portfolio, yeah, I had the same reaction. I said, what? <laughs> Are you kidding? You're just burning money by the hundreds of thousands. We're doing it still, and we believe there's a good reason for it. But um, back to actually segments, number of segments, and uh, the fact that uh, those segments you know, are spread, or you could focus on those segments in South America, and that's the other truth we had to learn. If you do apple trees in Germany, and you can show that geohumus is beneficial for the, for the fruit yield of your trees, don't even imagine that you can do apples in California just like that. Of course, the Californian apple uh, farmer will say, well, this is uh, convincing, I like it, but I want to see it on my turf. I want to see it with my soil, in my climate, and, first, and also I want to see, see it on my farm. Right? So you need money, time, and resources to start a segment, the time for people to test it, the money actually to survive that time, and then eventually, it turns into sales. That's where we are now, luckily. And uh, that wasn't always uh, a safe bet, I have to say. So we have clients in uh, closing the talk. The German Chancellery in uh, Berlin, three point how many kilometers from here, we learned. Um, actually, they use GeoHumus. Not a whole lot, but uh, it's a very reputable client. The drinks you're being served downstairs, uh, also they took an interest in GeoHumus. We won the environmental award um, in 2007 together. Bionade, number one, we are number three, um, but I think they deserve it. Uh, and eventually it ended up in a cooperation where Bionade is growing their, um, what is Holunda in English? Whatever, one of their flavors um, uh, with GeoHumus. Good for us. We have uh, uh, Landesgartenschau, Bundesgartenschau as uh, expositions. Uh, uh, land restoration, reclamation um, is something like um, following, for example, mining to restore a landscape. Uh, it can be used. We are one of, um, I think, roughly 60 products that Germany has chosen um, to show at the expo in Shanghai to show German technology, you know, the leading uh, the way and uh, showing how innovative we are in this country. We are, and that's the bread and butter, we are at Obi Hagebau, so the German retail stores. A similar approach is uh, launched and working in the US, 500 garden centers. Um, we have farms in Saudi Arabia, lots of anecdotes on farms in Saudi Arabia. If you're interested, join us uh, for a coffee. 140 liters per cup. And we can talk about farms in Saudi Arabia. The last one, and this is uh, probably the, the second to last link to iPhones and Apple, um, we're launching uh, an application soon. Um, it's going to be probably a few weeks. Uh, on the iPhone that you can use, it's called MyTree. And for every application downloaded, we're going to plant a tree in Ethiopia for a start. There's going to be more trees in the US. And uh, we want to show that uh, actually sustainability uh, help in not only planting trees, which is a good thing in itself, but obviously plant those trees with GeoHumus, thereby creating another data point for people who want to see where did it work in the past. Thank you very much.